Hi, Arnie here, and today I'm going to show you how to create parallax in Create Studio. Parallax occurs when you're in motion and objects closer to you seem like they're moving faster, and objects farther away appear like they're moving slower or stationary. So let's just set up the scene first of all. Okay, for this scene, what I did was I downloaded a couple of um, backgrounds. One of them was the in the Supreme uh, section here was the city road. Okay, and the other one is the park where I took the uh, the park bench, and I took out some of the elements. Okay, let's just get this centered here. Okay, so let's just set up a few things first of all for coloration and also uh, different elements. So I'm just going to leave the uh, the bus here, for example. So right from the get go, the uh, the elements do pop up. So we're going to leave that as is. Okay, uh, let's add a couple things here and change some colors. So first of all, I'm going to add the sidewalk. So we'll move that somewhere around here, about halfway. I'm going to make that a dark gray. And let's make this one a lighter gray for the road. Okay. For the buildings in the background, which are going to be stationary, in order to change their color into a gray, I change the back, uh, the brightness and contrast. And I'm going to bring the contrast way down. And the background here, the sky, will make it into a nice light blue shade like that. Okay, so there's our city set up. This bench here will have to come a little bit more in front, so we're going to bring that right to there. Now, I'm going to just put that off to the side for now. We don't need that. And same thing with the bus. We're just going to put that off to the side for now. Okay, so in order to have the buildings move, we need multiple, um, uh, we need duplicates of the building. So what I'm going to do for this one here, so there's the building right here. I'm going to duplicate it. Okay, so we have the two. And I'm going to move them off to the side, actually. So here's this one here. We're going to bring this one off to the side here. Let's bring this one back somewhere to the middle with uh, somewhere like that. And we're going to put this one beside it. So what's going to happen is we're going to have these two buildings come in, but they're going to slide towards the left. Okay. Uh, the other thing I did was I added a um, some lines in the road. And here's how I did that. I'm going to bring in a shape, just a rectangle here. Okay, and we're going to make it the same color as the road in a second, but the first thing we're going to do is create an outline. So let's go to the uh, to the border, and we're going to change this to a like a golden yellow sort of coloration here, somewhat like the lines in the road. Let's do it like that is good. Okay, and we're going to add a width of let's say 30. Okay, just to show you that up close here. And we're going to change the dash to 100. Oops, and the dash space to 100. There we go. Now, as you can see, it looks fairly square. So I'm going to change the line cap to round. And then we have that uh, look that I showed you in the video. So let's make this quite long. I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. I'm going to make this quite long. Because, we're, again, we're going to have this move across the screen, and I'll just bring that down a little bit. So in order to have this move, we're going to bring this down so that only the top line will show within the video. As you can see here, here's the canvas, and there's the, uh, there's the graphic. Okay, let me just zoom back in on that. And we're going to make this box okay, the same color as the road. So let's change that and click on that. There we go. And now we're going to put this underneath the uh, sidewalk. Let's rename this sidewalk so we know what it is. There we go. And actually, let's just bring the sidewalk up a little bit. Good. Okay, and we'll rename this one here, which is the, uh, the lines in the road. Let's call that uh, lines in the road. Great. So now when you're looking at it, it looks like uh, the bus is uh, driving there. So let me just pull that down maybe to the center. And we're going to make the bus a little bit smaller so it looks a little bit more uh, the correct size. Okay, again, let's leave that off to the side for now. And let's bring in our character. 
So one thing I like to do is set up the stage first and then we're going to do all of our animations. The character we brought in, Ender Supreme, is, there we go, Fitness Girl. Okay, and she's in the forefront here. And the action we're going to give her is Run In. Okay, so let's just move everything off uh, here. We'll go right to the uh, beginning. And I'll expand everything to the end here. There we go. And here she is. Now again, this, uh, this animation is quite short. So what we're going to do is as things are popping in, let's get some of these other elements to pop in as well. So I'm going to take this one here and let's open up our uh, tracks here. So for example, uh, this is popping up, which is right here, it's sliding to the top. Let's copy that and paste that to the uh, sidewalk. Okay. And we'll do the same thing with the lines here, the lines in the road. Okay, so we're doing Control C, Control V. So that will pop up something like that. Okay. That's good. And what we'll do is we'll have her run in as these are popping up. So that'll be the start of the scene. Okay, so we're going to go to motion, in, and we'll have her slide right. Okay. So she's actually going to come in, and as everything's popping up, she'll be coming into to the center of the screen here. So let's have her right in the center right there. Okay, that looks good. Perfect. Now we can also do a, uh, a custom animation if we want her to come in uh, perhaps a little bit faster, but this is fine for this purpose, and we're going to disable the fade. So right now what's happening is she's just entering the scene. Uh, we might want some of these things to come in a little bit faster as well so that they're already in when she's there. So let's actually do that. Let's shorten these animations a bit. That one's fine. Yeah, we'll shorten that one there. Okay, great. So it looks something like that. Okay. Now, she's going to basically have to be running in place the entire time. So what I'm going to do here is just uh, duplicate this. And we're going to take the um, I'm going to take the entrance away. And I'm just going to keep duplicating her until it fills up the entire length of the animation that we're having here. So there's quite a bit. But that's okay. She's going to go for a good run here. And where are we here? That's about over there. So we still need a few. And one more. Perfect. And we'll just shorten that. Okay, now we don't want all of this to take up the timeline. It's quite a bit. So what I'm going to do is group these together. And how we can do that without choosing each one of them is just choose one end, go to the other end, and press the Shift key, and grab it. And what you'll notice is it'll grab, well, it should grab all the ones in between. So let's do that one again and grab the top one. And there we go. So grab all of them in between your first and last choice. Click on it and create a group. So now it just takes up one line here. And we'll call this girl running. Okay. So far, so good. Now we have to have everything move. So once everything pops up onto the screen, which is right about there. So let's see what we're going to do. First of all, the silhouette of the city in the background will stay stationary. It's the farthest away. So we're first going to have now the, uh, the city scene here move towards the left. So she's running to the right, this has to move to the left, and this is going to move a little bit more slowly. So we're going to have it move for the entire uh, duration of the animation. So we're going to take the building here, add an, a custom animation. There we go, with position. Okay, and let's actually change the easing as well. So let's do both easing as linear. Everything's going to be linear. Okay, and the end will be 
now over here. We're going to change the duration in a second. Okay, so that's going from here to there. And we're going to have that go very slowly, so right to the end. Okay, let's take the other building here, do the same thing. We're going to add a custom animation. And we're going to do a position, change the easing. Oops, change the easing here. Okay, and let's just put that over here so we know exactly where it's going to end up. Let's move this out of the way. Okay, so we're having this here. And let's move that over. So it's fairly close to the other one, similar to where it was earlier. Okay, and now we're going to expand that all the way out. So what should happen now are these buildings should move in sync with each other. Alright, and that's very good. And it looks like the buildings are moving. The next thing we want to do is have the road move. So let's go see where the road is right there. Uh, so I'm going to do a very similar thing again. Is we're going to add a custom animation with position. And we're going to change the easing to linear. Now I'm just going to zoom out here a little bit just to show you what's going on. So here is the uh, here's the road lines. Okay, that's where it's starting, and it's going to end. I'm getting. I'm just going to use the shift and arrow keys over here, so you can see that it is the rest of it's completely off screen, and it's just this line that's going to look like it's moving. And again, let's bring that all the way out to here. You can always adjust the. Uh, the uh, the motion here. Okay, let's see how that looks. So now that one's moving a little bit slowly. I'm going to actually move this a little bit earlier here and move that a little bit more over here. So sometimes it takes a little bit of adjustments to make it look exactly the way you want. Okay, it's still moving a little too slowly. I want it to move a bit faster. Let's see if this helps if we do that. No, that's about even there. I think what we might have to do is have it end up a little bit further down. So let's just go back over here and just move it over even more. Maybe make it a little bit longer. So what I'm going to do here is actually make this longer and have it move like that. This will create the effect that it's moving faster. Okay, I do control zero to bring it back into full screen. Let's see what that does. That's a little bit better. Okay, so again, you can play around with that. So the road looks like it's moving just a little bit faster. I have the, the bus actually moving on there pretty nicely right now, but let's uh, let's alter that a bit. Okay, so the bus is actually on a slide left, and it starts off the screen, I believe. Does, uh, let's see where it is here. Yeah, there it is. Okay, uh, we're going to have it start not so far off the screen, so let's, uh, let's go to where that is, which is right here. No, it's like way off the screen here. Let's bring that back down to zero just so we know where it is. There it is. Okay, so let's uh, let's move that over. Let's say it starts right about there. And it's going to slide right off. That's good. Let's see what that looks like here. Okay, that's a little bit too fast. I think what I'm going to do with this is let's uh, let's remove this motion and make a custom motion position again and the easing will be linear okay let's see where it went here so we're gonna have it start let's say on this side right there just right off the screen it's gonna stop somewhere here And let's bring that, let's see how that looks. Okay, control zero again to be full screen. Okay, that's not bad. 
That seems like it's moving nicely. Perfect. I'm just going to move that down a little bit. All right, now let's do the bench. So the bench, we're going to bring uh, a little bit more to the forefront, but underneath the girl. So that way, what happens is it's going to go behind her. Now, this is going to move relatively quickly. So we're actually going to shorten the duration of this. Okay. And again, we'll do a custom animation with position and easing. Good. Okay. So it will start off screen here. Let's see about there. Let's uh, let's make that just a little bit smaller to be a little bit in sync with her size. Okay. And we're going to start it off screen right there. Good. And we're going to end it off screen here. I think some of it there. So let's just see if that is the correct height. That looks pretty good. And we'll start it there and end it. Let's see, is that going to work? Yeah, now this is going relatively quickly, right? So let's uh, let's see how that is. Oops, there we go. Very good. Okay. Let's just move that over a little bit. And let's duplicate it. And we'll move it over here so that way she's running past two of them. And I think we're almost done here. Let's take a look and see how that looks. Everything pops up. And there we have it. We have a background that is uh, just a silhouette in the background. Now we can add another more buildings here. I just left that one on this uh, this version. We have the buildings a little bit closer that are moving faster, and then the road is moving a little faster than that, and the benches are moving more like that, while she is stationary. So she's stationary with the background, and everything else is moving relative to her. And I think that looks pretty good. So there we have it. So there's how you do parallax in Create Studio, and I hope you enjoyed that.